Hey, this is Mark DeRosa. Welcome to the show. Afternoon baseball here on the show. Today we've got a good matchup ahead between the New York Mets and the Toronto Blue Jays. Into the box, Ahmed Rosario, and we are ready for some daytime baseball. Here's the first pitch to him. Good fastball down around the knees there, taken for a strike. Hey. 
Strike two. Two well executed pitches at the knees right there. But I know this hitter's looking for something up. And a change up here but that's taken low in the dirt for a ball. Forecast high calls for 80 degrees but we're at 76 here at opening pitch. Reaches down and hits this one on the ground to short. Scooped up. Throw on to first and one shortstop grounds out to the other one away. So the big. are empty with one man gone and that'll bring in Jeff McNeil and now pitch on the way fastball was too much for him there swung right through it well he kind of tipped his hand right there his approach is obviously sitting on the off speed because he was so late on that first pitch heater hit back up the middle and that is through into center field for a one out single That is third. The first baseman, Pete Alonzo. Quetta will go to first, and the runner will get back standing. Up next, the power bat of Pete Alonzo. Fouled off. Man at first for him following the one out single. Set. Here's the 0-1. Another one fouled off, and he's quickly behind 0-2. Hoping to send him packing. Pitch on its way. A swing and a miss for out number two, and a ball he had no chance of making contact with. Digging in now, Michael Conforto. He takes his first cuts in this one with a man at first and two away. And a check swing here, but he clearly went around on a pitch that would have been a strike anyway. It's nothing in one. Barely able to make contact. Down 0 and 2 now. McNeil is off of first with two away. Lifted down the line and left. And this will wind up a foul ball. O2 once more he is swung on and missed. He got him. Now at the plate, Bo Bichette. He'll lead things off here in the bottom here half of the first. The second base Here's the pitch. And that's in there for strike one. And it's quickly 0-2. He's got that certainly timed up now. I'd be shocked if the pitcher goes to the well three times in a row with off speed. And it's fouled away. Here's another 0-2. Now the fastball is right by him as he swings and misses for the first out of the inning. At the plate, Kevin Biggio. He'll get to take his first cuts here. Biggio. Good fastball as he gets the swing and a miss. Going to be a long day if he executes like this, punching tickets right out of the gate. Swing and a miss, and he's in control 0-2. That's a well-placed fastball right there, just off the outside. If you can get guys to expand the strike zone and go after that pitch, you're going to have a lot of success. No luck that time, though. The 1-2. Swung on and missed. He got him on strikes. So bases are empty here with two gone. And that brings up the exciting Lourdes Gurriel Jr. Now here's the pitch. The 1-0. Is offered at and missed for the first strike. Here's a fastball not close as he runs it to two and one now. And he missed again high and away this time three and one. Well it's a pretty well known fact that your batting average goes up as you get into more favorable hitters counts and that's especially true when we're talking about this kind of hitter. Not a great spot to be in if you're the pitcher. Four. 
the third baseman, Kyle. Here's the third baseman Seager. now, Kyle Seeger, as he sends it on the ground to first. And he is out on the tag. All set for the start of the inning, and that'll bring in the veteran catcher, Wilson Ramos. Wilson Ramos. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Now here it comes. And a good idea to hold off on that swing. It's ball one. You know he wants that on the mound, especially if it would have made the count 0-2. Didn't get it, though, so now you have to make another quality pitch on one and one. Two balls and a strike to count. The 2 1. And now this ball's lifted in the air down the right field line, but this will get back into the seats, so the count holds at 2 and 2. Line shot to first, and there's one away. Stepping in, Robinson Cano, as he'll get his first opportunity in this one. Here's the pitch. No balls in one strike. Cano waiting on the 0-1. This is line to left. And that's into the outfield for a one-out base hit. Got it, got it. The third base. J.D. Davis. J.D. Davis, the next to bat. As he'll take a look at ball one. First shot for him here with a runner at first now and one away. Did he go around? No, he did not. Ball two. Swung on. Missed. Two and one. And he fouls this one off. No score here as we play inning number two. A bullet to first base. Tries to dance back to the bag to double off the runner, but not in time. So a runner at first with two away. And ready to bat next, the Wyoming native Brandon Nimmo. From the belt, kicks and deals. Ball one. That evens it up, one and one. Two out with the man at first. Popped him up. Seeger in foul ground. And no one will track it down. Grounded to first. Shaw fields it cleanly. And he'll step on the bag himself. And the inning is over. Rowdy Tellez the next to bat as they'll have five six and seven here to start the home half of the second hit down the line at first but a foul ball here 0 and 1 a great job of changing speeds there it's 0 and 2. In the dirt, but swung on and missed. Ramos has got it. And he makes the throw to first. Tellez is retired, and there's one away. So one away here with the bases empty. And that brings up the left-handed hitter, Travis Shaw. Swing and a miss on a ball in his eyes. One strike. I can't imagine he was sitting on fastball at his neck right there. He is going to have to lower his sights if he's going to have any chance. 0 and 2 to Travis Shaw. Set to deliver on nothing and two. Here it comes. 
Bottom of the second here with no score. Oh, and this is swung on and missed. Four strikeouts already, and that's out number two. So bases are empty here with two gone. And striding into the plate next will be Teoscar Hernandez. Here's a breaking ball, but it doesn't quite find the strike zone. In there, and it's even at one. Bases are empty here with two men out. High fly ball out to deep right field. Conforto retreats to the track, and he'll put this one away. So a sigh of relief as the side is retired. New inning set to get underway. And up next, the big RBI-minded bat of Ioannis Cespedes. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. High in the air out to center field. Mercado is right there to take it in. And on one pitch, that's all for Cespedes. Stepping into the box, Ahmed Rosario. Second appearance here. He grounded out to start the ball game. Just able to get a piece of that for strike one. Rosario handles the bat well against right-handed pitching. Doesn't have a lot of pop, but he does make contact. And, of course, he's always using his wheels to his advantage. Yeah, and in today's game, how refreshing is it to watch this guy absolutely get down the first baseline? I can't tell you what this does to a defense. Count remains at 0-2. Third inning, no score to this point. And a wave and a miss on a ball that was way out of the strike zone. There are two away now. Number six. Stepping up now, Jeff McNeil. He singled his last time up. This is in the air out to straightaway center. Mercado is going to have room out there as he puts this away to retire the side. Bottom of the third now, and standing in the outfielder, Oscar Mercado. The center fielder. First offering on its way. Mercado. Lazy fly ball out to center field. McNeil onto the grass. He's there and records the first down. Striding into the box, Reese McGuire. Here's the first pitch to him. Wind up and the 0 1. Ball one. That's over, but low, it's a ball and a strike. And he lays off the pitch down and away. Ball two. Now the 2 1. Bottom of inning number three, nothing, nothing, our score. Two seamer there as this is fouled off to the left side. Now another 2-2. Two -two. A swing and a miss. He offered it a ball way outside the strike zone for out number two. Now back. Stepping base. into the box. Bo Bichette. He went down swinging to start the home first. Oh, had him chopping at that one. It's nothing in one. Two out, nobody on. Nope. And this one's downstairs. It's a ball and a strike. Popped him up. And Ramos will look up and make the catch to retire the side. So digging in now, Pete Alonso looking to put the ball in play here. He went down on strikes in his first at bat. Yeah, and he didn't put up much of a fight either, Matty. Got to find a way. Can't go down three pitches. I don't care if you're staring at him or swinging at him. You have to find a way to make this pitcher work a little bit harder. Skied into straightaway right. Long run for the right fielder. He gets to it and makes the catch for the first out. 
And next will be the Mets cleanup hitter, Michael Conforto. He was a strikeout victim in his first try. Yeah, and kind of shocked he got blown away with a fastball. You could tell he was late on that one. And we'll see if he tries to cheat to something this A.B. Hit hard back up the middle. Fielded cleanly on to first, and that is two quick outs to start the fourth. And that'll bring up Wilson Ramos. First pitch of the at bat on its way. And he lays off there 1 0. Good pitch there on the inside black called the strike. It's been more than two innings since this guy's allowed anyone to reach base. He looks pretty unbeatable on the bump right now. Sent in the air out to straightaway central. And he'll get there in plenty of time to put this one away, and that ends the inning. Standing in, Kevin Biggio. He's set to lead us off in the home half of the fourth inning. This game is rolling right along as we move into the middle innings with no score. You'd think by now one of these two. There's a swing and a missile sent out to center field. Meanwhile now, this ball's trouble as it looks like it'll be good for extra bases. And he'll get there as he legs out the leadoff triple. The batter number 13. In now, Lourdes Gurriel. He swings and hits it foul off to the right and out of play. It was a double for him in his first turn at the plate. The 0-1. Swing and a miss. It's 0-2. This is a situation where the offensive player just needs to do his job. Take inventory, infield back, get you a ground ball somewhere in the infield, preferably off the corners, and get your team lead. So he ran the fastball by him for the punch out. Lourdes Gurriel is dealt with for the first out in the bottom of the inning. And there's a fastball well off the plate inside. Grounded up the first baseline. The tag, and he is out at the plate. So much for our first run of the ball game. Two are gone now in the Blue Jays' half of the fourth, and that'll bring up Rowdy Tellez. First pitch of the at bat. Now a swing and a ground ball reined in. He'll whip this one to first in time, and that ends the inning. Ready to go in the top of the fifth. And that'll bring up Robinson Cano. First pitch on its way. Good change up there to start him, but it drops a little low for ball one. And he misses again to Cano. It's 2-0 oh now. And now pitch on the way. Skied in the air to straightaway left. Waiting on it is Hernandez. Makes the play one away. So coming to the plate, J.D. Davis hit it hard but lined out in his first at bat. Yeah, he hit it hard. That's all you can ask. You can't control the results sometimes, Matty. Just unlucky with the placement. The 1 0. There's a fastball swung on and missed. Both teams with just two hits apiece thus far. Swing and a miss on the fastball, and it's one and two. I mean, you look in the dugout right now, you see steam coming out of the hitting coach's ears. Somebody has to stay back and find a way to get knocked. Ground ball sent back up the middle. And he'll whip this one over to first, and he gets his man for the second out. So striding in, Brandon Nimmo. He's 0 for 1 after grounding out in his only trip to the plate so far. Here comes the first pitch. Now the fastball is swung on and missed. All bets are off for the offense right now. This guy's got a low pitch count. He's attacking his zone. They have to get more aggressive. This guy's not going anywhere. 1 and 1 the count. Bouncer up the middle. He's got it. Throw in the dirt, but a good scoop at first saves an error as the side is retired. 
They're digging in next will be Travis Shaw, looking to put the ball in play here. He went down on strikes in his first at bat. Maybe trying to back him up a bit there with the fastball. And a bouncing ball, foul. From the windup, the 1-1 one, one pitch. I got two on the count. Hit hard up the middle. And that will get on by into center field for a leadoff single. So that will bring in Teoscar Hernandez. As the first pitch to him is swung on and missed for strike one. A swinging strike and now it's 0-2. I know that feeling. Played 14 years in the big leagues and still can't hit a slider. A little bit off the outside. It's one and two. And he may have thought something was on here as he stepped off to look back to first. Working for the punch out and the offering. Hey, expect a challenge right here. Does not want to run the count full. Swing and a miss as he couldn't connect on the two-seamer, and that's out number one. The Stepping in, Oscar Mercado. Oscar. He's ready. Here's the first offering. And they'll try to stay out of the double play here as he lays this one down. And he's safe. Next to bat for Toronto, Reese McGuire. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. He's set. Here it comes. Good deception on the slider there as he's way out in front. McGuire, a 25-year-old. He's in his rookie year here at the big league level. Off the plate, one ball, one strike. Hey, he threw that pitch with a purpose to get a double play. Good job to let it go by, though, as a hitter. A one and two count to the Blue Jays' signal caller. Boy, he set or cut that fastball. It comes in in the high 90s, but that's a dangerous location no matter how hard you're throwing. The count now at two and two. There's a breaking ball, but it's laid off and doesn't find the zone. Back to back sliders in on the hands. He didn't handle it real well at all in the previous pitch, so why not come right back with it again? Better job of laying off that one, though. Ready once again, Bo Bichette. He's Bow 0 for 2 in the ballgame so far. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Line drive to left. And that's in there. Base hit. The runner from third crosses the plate, and they've taken a 1 0 lead. The right fielder, number eight, Kevin. At the plate now, Kevin Biggio. As he'll get caught chasing a bad one there at strike one. He's working on a 1 for 2 game so far. That misses wide. One ball and one strike. You know he's probably cheating on that inside pitch after he got jammed earlier. If you're on the mound right now, you want to try to hit that outside corner, and there's a pretty good chance you'll get him to roll over something. Set and the two and one pitch. Mm, clearly fooled there on the slider. And that misses there, so he runs the count full now. For the guy in the mound, this is one of those innings where nothing comes easy. He's thrown a bunch of pitches, and this A.B. hasn't been any different. Definitely laboring at the moment. Got him. And that's eight strikeouts now for him in the ballgame. Coming to the plate now, notice Guriel. A hit in two at-bats for him at this point in the ballgame. Good fastball as he gets the swing and a miss. Man, he's looking sharp so far. 80% of his first pitches are for strikes. He might be able to go the distance if he keeps this up. Behind 0-2 now. 0-2, here it is. And he's got himself another one as he picks up strikeout number nine here, and the side is retired. Top half of the sixth about to get started. And coming forward, the veteran outfielder, Yoenis Cespedes. First pitch of the at-bat. 
Uh, couldn't quite hold back that time as the changeup fooled him for strike one. Yank the slider across that time, laid off for a ball. 1-1. Uh, one, one. Is taken for strike two. Swing and a miss as he ran the fastball right by him for the first down. Next for the Mets, Ahmed First offering on its way. One oh. No runs, two hits, one error in the game for the Mets thus far. Now here's one hit in the air to the right side. Bichette takes charge out there and he stays with it for the second out. Stepping in and ready for another shot, Jeff McNeil. One for two in the ball game thus far. The pitch. A swing and a drive to center field. That one's got a chance. A ball that's carrying. And he makes a nice catch on the track as that ends the inning. So here's the cleanup hitter, Kyle Seeger, 0 for 2 on the afternoon so far. The third baseman, Kyle. Just gets a piece of it, strike one. This guy's been throwing the ball great so far, but it's going to be tested here. Four, five, and six coming up this part of the lineup. And he gets around on one and hits it high and deep to straightaway right. And a leaping effort at the wall, but it's in vain. A home run. Now better. At the plate, Rowdy Tellers. As he will look at a first pitch fastball for ball one. 0 for 2 from him so far in this one. Fastball laid off well below the knees. Outside, 3 and 0 now. Fastball taken, but that gets the zone for a strike. Two runs, five hits, and no errors in the game for Toronto. A swing and a high drive to right center field. Looking up is Nimmo. And this one is gone. A home run. And that brings up the left-handed hitting Travis Shaw. Hit down the third baseline. Uh, this is foul for the first strike. A swinging strike, and now it's 0-2. 88 on a changeup? I remember when an 88-mile-an-hour fastball wasn't all that bad. Man, the game's changing. Throw on to first is in time to get him, so that'll go down as a strikeout and a 2-3 to three put out for route number one. One out now in the Toronto sixth inning. And striding into the plate next will be Teoscar Hernandez. First delivery to him on the way. Here's the 0 1. Swing and a miss on the slider, and he's quickly behind nothing in two. So back to back sliders for strikes. Does he come back with yet another? Hey, not normally a good plan to throw three consecutive sliders in a row. This guy's slider is so good, I think he might throw it again. So he ran the fastball by him for the punch out to Oscar Hernandez. He comes out number two this inning. Oscar Mercado is in with two away here as this one swung on and missed for the first strike. On the ground to third. Throw on to first, gets him, and the side is retired. Seventh inning ready to roll, and up steps the power bat of Pete Alonzo. Starting to run out of time. They haven't been able to score any runs as we're moving late into this one. 
There's a swing and a ball hit in the air and a ball that he got every stitch of as that one without a doubt is gone. So now to the plate, Michael Conforto. As he rips it on the ground to second, Bichette gathers it in. And a bit of a high throw that time, but no problem over there at first as they record the out. Now at the plate, Wilson Ramos. One run in and one gone so far in this inning. Pitch swung on and hit in the air. Toward the line in right. And that's in there. Base hit. Ryan Baker comes on to pitch here with one man gone in the top of the seventh. Number 81, Ryan Baker. So Robinson Cano will grab a bat next as he comes up empty on a pitch right down the middle for strike one. And there's ball one. Tough spot in the game right here. You have a very close call that doesn't go your way. This is when you have to really regroup as a pitcher and go out there and try to make quality pitches. A ball and two strikes now. That's popped up. In there, a base hit. Now batter. Into the box now, J.D. Davis, as he'll try to hold back on the swing, but he went around for the first strike. This is hit high in the air out toward left center, giving Chase his Hernandez. He's got it. A nice play there. Two away. And here's the former first-round draft choice, Brandon Nimmo. Two outs and two runners aboard here in the seventh inning. He waits. Now the pitch. From the stretch. Two men are on with two men out. Starts to go around, but the home plate umpire says he held up ball two. A time to start making some quality pitches. He finds himself in a tough spot behind an account with guys on base. Three and one to him now. Good lead there at second. Here's the pitch. Lifted down the line and left. And no one can get there. It's a foul ball. Before the runners go, he'll check on first. And he'll get back in safely. Two down, runners at first and second. Too close for comfort, and he did a good job just to make contact. The next 3-2. Hit in the air to straightaway center. Mercado is there and he'll make the catch to retire the side. Striding in once again, Reese McGuire comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. Ready with the first pitch, here it comes. This one's outside, quite a bit off the plate that time. Hit on the ground out to short. Rosario's got it cleanly. Throws in time, and that's out number one. So one away now in the Toronto seventh. And in the bat next, the legacy Bo Bichette. There's a breaking ball that couldn't quite catch the inside. Sharp ground ball toward the hole. And a base hit as that's in the left, and they've got themselves a base runner. The right fielder, number eight, Kevin. Stepping in now, Kevin Bijero. 
as he takes a cold strike at the knees it's 0 and 1 he's working on a one for three thus far smoked on the ground up the middle to second for one relay to first in time and just like that this side is retired. Ready for another shot now. Yoenis Cespedes. He flew out his first time around and then. Number 52. Yoenis Cespedes. Now the pitch. Ah, his eyes lit up on that one above the zone, but he comes up empty. This offense has been underachieving all day, putting way too much pressure on their own pitching staff. Someone has to have a quality A-B and get this line going. The 1-1. High in the air out to center field. Mercado is there, and he has it for the first out. So the batting order turns over now and set to go Ahmed Rosario. It was a flyout for him in his last trip. Swing and a liner toward the gap in left center. Hernandez will range to his left as he tracks this one down in left center for the second out of the inning. So two are gone in the Mets half of the eighth. And that'll bring in Jeff McNeil. First offering on its way. Eighth inning of this low scoring affair. Three to one our score. And he falls behind 0 and 2. This could be a huge win for the guy on the mound if he's able to get out of this inning 1 2 3 and start fresh next inning with the middle of the order. Softly hit toward the hole. Shaw has it. Throw to first will get him easily and the side is retired. Ready to go for the last half of the inning and stepping in the long ball threat, Mortis Guriel. Here's the first pitch to him. And that swung on and missed for strike one. This pitcher's bringing it with some high velo. You better get that front foot down early and get ready or he's going to throw it right by you. A swinging strike and now it's 0 and 2. Did a good job to shorten up and protect the plate, and he'll have another shot at it here. He was looking for a swing and a miss breaker right there, but left that one in the zone that got fouled off. Strike three on a pitch in the dirt. And he makes the throw to first. Guriel is retired, and there's one away. Now Next will be the cleanup hitter, Kyle Seeger. He's got a hit in three at bats to this point. Going back to that last A.B., that was the express. That was an upper 90s fastball that he turned around. So I think with this guy, you might want to try to incorporate some more off-speed pitches. Count now a ball and a strike. Swing and a miss as he pulled the string on him, one and two. Neither guy willing to give in, and the ad battle continue. Swung on in the dirt, strike three. Ramos gathers it, and he makes the throw to first. Seeger is retired, two down now. Next will be the designated hitter, Rowdy Tellez. It was a solo shot for him in his last at-bat. That last at-bat when he went deep, he turned around a pretty good fastball, so I'm kind of thinking this guy's a good fastball hitter, so I might want to move that ball up and down and in and out and try not to throw it right down the middle of the plate. Paul Seawall enters here looking to get the final out before the ninth inning. Standing in now, Travis Shaw fouled away. He's working on a one for three thus far. He's ready. Here's the 0-1. This is hit pretty well out to left field. Cespedes is going back. But he can't get it as it's off the wall. The throw into second. 
the tag, and they'll get him at second. And with that, the side is retired. Leading off to the net, the first baseman, he. So here's Pete Alonzo. And we kick off the ninth inning with a swinging strike here. Nothing in one. He's got a hit in three at bats to this point. Big swing and a miss at the fastball, and he's behind in the count 0 and 2. Go to that well one more time. He's been late on the first two. Protecting with two strikes, one out of the zone that time, but he stays alive. Swing and a ball lifted in the air toward the line and right. And a great start to the ninth as this ought to be extra bases. The right fielder, number 30, Michael Conforto. Wilmer Font, the six foot four inch right hander, comes in out of the bullpen to do the pitching. Number 63, Wilmer. Into the box, Michael Conforto. As he grounds one briskly to short, he's right there. Throw goes to third. And he is in there. Digging in, Wilson Ramos. It was a single for him in his last at bat. Yeah, and just another simple single to the outfield would be a big one right here. Don't try and do too much. You know there's a potential base open right there. Maybe sit off speed. Check swing, but he held up in time. Ball one. This is line to left. That's in there. Base hit. And the runner from third scores as they try and work their way back into this one. It's now a 4-2 game. Up next to the net, the designated hitter, Robinson Cano. Here's Robbie Cano now. And this one gets away. And the runners will stay put here on ball one. Runners at the corners here. Nobody out. Left side. And he has delivered one of the biggest at-bats of the afternoon as he cashes in with a base hit. Now back. The third baseman. J.D. At the plate, J.D. Davis. And a bunt attempt here, but this will be foul, so the runners will stay put for now. Good lead off a second there. Now the pitch. Jake Marisnik would come on now and pinch run here. Sacrifice attempt here. One there. Throw on to first. Won't be in time, so they just get the one there. Now batting, Brandon Nimmo, as he's got a chance to tie this ball game up with that equalizing run just 90 feet away at third. First pitch on its way. Line hard, but foul. Oh, one count. Here's the pitch. And a pitch takes off inside and gets away. Oh, and the tag will get him at the plate as the potential tying run is cut down trying to score.
struck him out. So he'll strand the possible tying run at second and a great job of working out of trouble as this ball game is over. Hey, we were really treated to a good one today. Bottom of the eighth proved to be the difference, though, and a good job here in the ninth to close the book on this one. A one-run finish, 4-3, to three, the final tally today. The Toronto Blue Jays used a nice fifth inning to take the lead, and they never gave it back. Johnny Cueto pitches well enough to get the W. Jacob DeGrom struck out 13 in the losing effort. So that just about does it for Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, Heidi Watney, and our entire crew. I'm Matt Vasquez, and you've been watching MLB The Show. For more, make your way over to theshownation.com. Stands our final line score this afternoon. First for the victorious Blue Jays, four runs on nine hits, no errors. They left seven men on base. For the